Good afternoon, this is the Junk Messiah trying to uh, figure out what's wrong with his uh, machine. Um, let's go ahead and talk about a couple things. First off is that the machine, if I set power levels by hand, will engrave and cut just fine. As you can see, we can cut the fool out of leather or in this case, acrylic, whatever. Um, as you can see from here, I were a little bit nuts in the early days trying to get this thing set up and figured out. Uh, when the machine came to me, uh, the first thing I ran into a problem was the uh, offset for the steppers were making ovals. So if I tried to make a round circle, it would come out as an oval. Figured all that out, got that all adjusted, everything's great. But now I'm to a point to where uh, while I can do stuff as an independent piece, I can't seem to do what this machine should be able to do. Everything is presently functioning. We'll go ahead and escape. We don't have any file in the system right now. I'll go ahead and escape. Uh, we have full control over the system. Works fine. Lasers are aligned. Oh my god, the hell I went through getting the lasers aligned. But it's aligned. And it's working now. I hit datum. She'll return back to her home spot. Palamo. Alright, so there we are. Everything's um, machine wise working. So I'm going to go over to the side here and show you what we've got named hardware and where everything's plugged in. Again, I'm hoping one of you guys out there has dealt with this problem I'm about to describe. Uh, there's our line coming from our computer. That's all in there pretty good. Um, everything's set up. It's the uh, Litro MPC 6535 brain in the unit with the uh, Litro uh, stepper controllers, power supply, and then my laser power supply is down there. Everything from this end seems to be just happy, hunky dory as hell. Alright. So, what's my big problem? Well, I'll show you here. What I'm going to go ahead and do here is uh, open up uh, 12, which is Corel Draw 12. Uh, what I'm going to show you that's happening to me is happening in their all modes, which means whether whether I'm running trying to run laser cut 5.3 or um, Corel Draw 12 uh, with the plug-in for 5.3, uh, it, it happens. It just it, this is what's driving me nuts. Actually, I have two problems, but this one's the most pressing at the moment. So I'm going to go to the file here. I'm going to go ahead and open. This is a file that's already got two layers on it. A engraved layer and a cut layer. Now, we are in the millimeter scale. Everything's uh, set up to be converted directly from millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And here's our picture. Okay, so here's our image. I have a cut layer, which is an outer ring, which is going to cut this out, and the bitmap that's underneath. So everything is basically ready to go. Alright, uh, first thing I'm probably going to do here, however, is I'm going to show you my settings. It's connecting to the motion card right now. Uh, again, we have the MPC 6535. Our I.O. level is lower level, limit level is lower level, laser modules models PWM, uh, max power is 100, machine number 1, machine code 1-116-30043. One uh, so that's that, that's my motion card. 
my work table, my numbers are a little bit off on the work table because I was running into an issue early on with uh, Runaway where the uh, servo or the steppers would, for when the image I was working on, would run it all the way to the end and try and smash the uh, laser module or the uh, laser mirror uh, against the uh, frame of the unit. Uh, and so I kept it at 1,000 by 800. That's still a workable range for this unit, so it should, shouldn't matter in this, map, in this case. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can get a clearer image by zooming in and backing up. And you can see my actual settings. Apparently anything in Autodatum, I, I've unchecked Autodatum, I've checked it. Again, this doesn't solve this problem. Here is my cut page. I've screwed around with all the settings here and have gotten no joy. Engrave. Grade engrave. And hold. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And what I'm going to show you is the big 600 pound elephant in the room, well, 600 pound gorilla. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and click on this and it's going to ask if I have, has modified data. I honestly don't know. It says laser output uh, has modified data. The only thing I can think is that this is for multi-layer cutting that has different settings for each one of the lasers. I want to say no. I don't know what has modified data does for me. I always love the fact that all of these um, buttons up here come up as uh, Chinese. But all right, so I'm going to say no. No has no modified data. All right. So what do we got? Well, we've got a line which is a cut line, which is the uh, layer that has a ring around the lion, and it has grade and grade. Now these numbers, these speed, power, grade and grave, power, speed, power, should all transfer to the machine and the machine should act according to those numbers, I'm assuming. I know probably somebody's slapping their forehead going, Doh, what are you doing? But I understand this is my first laser cutter so I'm trying to figure stuff out. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go into the test mode, zoom in on the piece, I'm going to go ahead and do the calculations, calculates just fine, if there was a problem where I had reversed, let's say the cut line or my bitmap that I was etching or engraving, uh, it would let me know that, you know, I uh, cannot engrave anything but uh, two-bit bitmap or something like that. So we, we have our cut line that goes around the line and this. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to run a simulation. Uh, we've got a red line all the way around and all of our engraving. Good stuff. Fun stuff. So, we're going to back back out of this. I'm going to do the calculation here. Let's make sure everything's good to go. And in theory, I should be able to click begin and stuff happen. But no, that's not what happens. Uh, we're going to stick a step back here. Here is the control panel. Now, as you can see, we have a speed of 90%. We have a power of 65%. Over 100 pieces, one delete. So, but we don't have a file. There's no file in here. Okay, zero, no file. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is just center. Well, I'm going to have to skip out of here. I'm going to go ahead and just center. Make a 
get the general run here. So we're centered on the piece that we're going to work with. I'm going to come on over here and click begin. Nothing. Not a thing will happen. Not a thing will happen. Okay. I know one guy's slapping at the, at the screen right now going, Well, it's because you don't have a file! You don't let us no file! Okay. Alright, I get that. I kind of expected a file to show up when I click begin, but alright. Nothing happened. So the very next thing I will do, try and get this thing to go, is go to standalone. At this point, I will click download current. You do a bunch of calculations, and the file will come up. I go back over here. Sure is bang on if I hit escape. Or enter. There you are. There it is. There's my millimeter lion uh, on here. All right. Now keep in mind, this was to etch at one speed and one power, and then uh, cut at another. Uh, that's fine. So I can either click begin down here, and it will start, or I can click start here, and it will actually run. And here we go. As you can see, it is cutting at 90% speed at 65% power. If that was 10%, it'd be a lot slower. And now it's doing the edge at the same speed. 90% speed, 65% power. And that's what it'll do. Nothing I do changes this. Alright, so we might as well just go ahead and stop this. Has it started etching? Yeah, it's, you know, I could feel it. It's, it started etching. We could see it there. So now you see my problem. The other problem is, is that um, I don't believe... I'm going to double check my measurements here in a couple seconds. That the size is right, because... In theory, this should be five and a half millimeters or 50, 55 centimeters across, and it's a lot bigger than 55 centimeters across. At least according to what the original image size is supposed to be. Well, let me go ahead and go here. So, so we are looking at five, see that's 10 centimeters, there's 20 centimeters, there's, no that's not right, what am I saying, there is 51 centimeters, 52 centimeters, 53 centimeters, 54 centimeters, 55 centimeters. Um, the image size should be 55 centimeters. Well, that's 55 centimeters, and as you can see, the size is wrong. So that's the other problem. Nothing I do apparently changes this. Um, if you have an idea 
how to resolve these issues, please let me know. Save me for myself. Um, otherwise, if I just do an engrave and set all my settings here for that engrave, it'll do it. We'll do multiples of them, yes, as long as the settings are right for it. But I can't do an engrave and then have the machine slow down at a different power level and do my cuts. Okay? It just won't do it. It won't even change it for the um, unit, uh, for the engraving. That's about it. I hope that you can help me out. And uh, thank you for your time.